how to connect Gelato to WooCommerce. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Gelato to WooCommerce. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Gelato and WooCommerce, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Gelato, it is a global technology company specializing in print on demand services, in which it is designed to empower e commerce entrepreneurs and creators by providing a platform for producing and delivering custom products. In which Gelato connects users with over 140 production partners across 32 countries, allowing for faster shipping and reduced carbon emission by manufacturing products closer to customers. So, now to create an account, just click the link in the description, or alternatively, you could also click the sign up for pre button on the top right corner. And upon doing so, you will now be able to be directed on this page where you can start signing in using your Google account, Facebook, Apple ID, or email address in here. And after signing in with any of those methods, you will now be able to be directed on this home page of Gelato. And it will show us on the left side panel some of the options to navigate. Now moving on, you can now proceed by going to our WooCommerce.com or WordPress.com in here, in which it is an open source e commerce plugin designed for WordPress enabling users to create and manage online stores with ease. And this website, WordPress, is also a comprehensive website creation platform that allows users to build, manage, and customize their own websites or blog with ease. And from here it will show us some of the options to set up your account. But now to proceed connecting Gelato to this WordPress, you simply go back to this Gelato account. And it will show us in here on the left side panel the options such as orders, stores, analytics, price navigator. But just proceed by clicking the stores option. And on the right side panel, it will show us all the stores that are connected in Gelato in here. And below it will show us additional integration that we can connect and it will show us in here the WooCommerce by clicking on it. It will show us that we've already reached the limit of connecting number of stores. So from here we can start deleting some of the store in here by clicking this one or the three dots in here and click edit store details. And below just scroll down until you find this delete store button. However, you firstly need to enter your store name in order to delete the store. Or alternatively, you could also cancel this point and delete the other one by clicking edit store details in here. It will show us the option so just scroll down and click delete store once again and at this point i'm just going to enter the store name in here and just proceed by clicking the delete store button to proceed and now after successfully deleting the store we cannot proceed adding the new one integration which is this woocommerce so can you click the woocommerce and from here it will show us the step-by-step -step process on how to connect it so we have here the first one which is the connection checklist so all you need to do is simply open the woocommerce on the WordPress account. But you also need to make sure that the WooCommerce store has an HTTPS connection and doesn't have a redirection. So you can check this in here, in which we will be able to be directed on the next tab. And it will show us that we can simply add here the link to analyze in here. And after that, below it will show us the step two process, which is to enable REST API in your WooCommerce settings. And it says here that all we need to do from the admin panel of our store. To simply open the WooCommerce, then go to settings and click advance. So from here, just go back to this page and click this WooCommerce. However, it says here that we need to upgrade our account in order to navigate this WooCommerce. Since currently we're just using a free account in here, we will not be able to access the WooCommerce. But I can show you the step by step process on how to do it or start connecting the Gelato to WooCommerce account. Now, going back to this page once again. After we click the settings on WooCommerce and click the advanced section in here, it will now show us in here under legacy API tab, wherein we can start checking the boxes to enable the legacy REST API in here. And after doing so, just proceed by clicking the save changes button below to proceed. So make sure to check these boxes and click the save changes. And now for the step 3 process, we need to make sure that the permalink settings are not set to the plane. So after we open the WooCommerce or the settings option on our WooCommerce account, we need to be directed on the permalinks in which WooCommerce REST API currently works only when the WordPress permalinks are enabled. So in order to use the API, you need to make sure that the permalink settings is not set to default value and the permalink feature depends on our server configuration. So if URL rewriting is not available, then the permalink will not work. 
So once again to do that, you can open the settings in here. So just go back to this WooCommerce account and click the settings option. So you should see here or you be, should be directed on the permalink account. But however, at this point, I don't have an upgrade account in order to do so. But basically, you can start copying all of this step-by-step -step process such as by opening the settings and go to this permalink settings and under the common settings just choose any other structure other than plain in order for the WooCommerce API to work. So you can choose here either the name, month and name, numeric, point name or custom structure. But don't choose the plain option. Now after choosing any of those options just simply click the save changes button to proceed. And you could also check here if the WooCommerce API is not working by opening this highlight link in here in your browser to proceed. And if the response contains JSON code with the store information, then the API works. Or otherwise, the permalinks are not enabled correctly. And now moving on to the step 4, which is to install WooCommerce Legacy URS API login. So from here, we can simply click this highlight text in here. And upon doing so, it will automatically be directed us on the next tab in here where we can start downloading this WooCommerce Legacy REST API by clicking the download button. However, you could also check the description in here and other details of this application. So again, by clicking this download button in here, it will automatically be downloaded this application and all you need to do is wait for it to load and after that, just simply install the application. And moving on, the next thing that we need to do is simply go to our WooCommerce site which is the step 5 is to install the Gelato plugin. So the first step is to simply go to our WooCommerce site and open up the plugins. So going back to this page, just click the plugins button and on the search bar, kind of click on it and search for Gelato. Since it says here that in order to install the Gelato, we need to search or install and activate the Gelato plugin. So to do that, once again, just go back to this page and can kind of search Gelato and click the search bar or enter on your keyboard and it will show us the result so kind of click this gelato integration for WooCommerce and from here it will show us all of the details about this application including the feature that it offers but this is basically the way and how we can start connecting gelato to WooCommerce and after that this click the upgrade your plan to install plugin since it needs an upgrade account in order to install this gelato integration for WooCommerce and since I'm just using a free account, I'm not able to install this one. But if you're using an upgrade account, you can start installing the Gelato. And it will show us in here what it looks like. Where in under plugins, it will show us the WooCommerce. And after opening the Gelato, this is basically what it looks like. And all we need to do is to simply sign in our account on Gelato in here. Then we'll be able to be connecting our Gelato account on this page. Where in we could also click the approve button to proceed to allow access of Gelato. Wherein with the Gelato plugin, you could also create our products, their mockup images, the description and pricing connecting to our WooCommerce account in here. So overall, that is just basically how you can connect Gelato to WooCommerce. Thank you.